This is the XTAR VC8S battery charger, but it's not just a battery charger, it's also a battery tester and a battery conditioner. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I want to thank XTAR for reaching out to me and offering to send the VC8S so that I could share it with you. Now, just a couple of things. I am going to go down to the tabletop and give you a high level overview of this device, basically showing you how it works, but there is a lot of detail in all the different operational features of it, and I don't feel I can get them all or give them all justice during this video. Having said that, I will talk about each of the features and what they do, but the manual will do a much better job of actually giving you the actual operational instructions for it. All right, now let's get down to the tabletop. Just before we take a closer look at the XTAR VC8S battery charger, let me share with you what it came with. We'll put that aside for a moment. So this is the box that the unit came in. And it did come with a manual and warranty information. Now this manual is all important because this is well laid out, a lot of it done pictorially, and it's important that it is easy and clear to understand because there are so many features and things you can do with this unit that you'll want to reference this manual often just to learn the procedures for it. As I mentioned, there is more you can do with this unit than I could adequately cover in this video. Although again, I will be going over each of those features in terms of what they are and the benefit to you for them. And the last thing that came with this is this PD fast charger. So this is a 45, oh, 45 watt output charger and it came with a USB type C fast charge cable, the one that would have USB type C uh, ports on both end of it. All right, let me bring the unit back in. I'll first have to set this up and then we'll start demonstrating it. Now in a moment I'm going to start putting batteries in each of the slots so you can see the type of batteries that it will work with and there's one exception that it won't work with but I'll get to that in a moment. But first let's just talk about its key features because this is will highlight the versatility that this unit has to offer. So to start with it has eight, eight independent charging ports right across the front of it. By independent I mean you can put in any number of different size batteries, eight different batteries if you have them, and it will charge all of them equally but independently one of the other because of course some will require more current than others to charge. You can charge both lithium ion as well as the older nickel metal hydride batteries at the same time. It also offers a store mode and a store mode, mode or storage mode is it'll condition the battery to just the right capacity for long-term storage so it doesn't cause damage to the battery itself. It has an internal resistance testing and it has a capacity capacity testing and I think that's really quite interesting because I've I've learned through testing with this that not all batteries are actually capable of the capacity rated for them. I'll speak more to that in a moment. It has adjustable charge current. So when you put a battery in this, the unit will determine what is the best charge current to bring this uh, to charge the battery with however if you want to charge it faster or slower you can adjust that through the uh, the device itself anywhere from 3000 milliamps all the way down to 250 milliamps and I think that's quite interesting although for the most part I just pop the batteries in and leave them in and let the unit decide what is the best current for doing that it does have a 15 day wa exchange warranty a 24 month uh, free repair warranty and a lifetime technical support warranty. Now, as far as performance, this supports both the PD 3.0 and the QC 3.0 uh, performance specifications. All right, now let's just start putting a few batteries in it and I'll show you a few of what it's capable of placing in it. So right off the top, probably the battery that most of my flashlights and a lot of my units use are the 18650. Now this is an unbranded, well this one says Ultrafire, but basically it's an unbranded version of an 18650, not a well-known brand. I'll pop that in in that port. Right next to it, I'll pop in a 2800 2800 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride double A battery. Put that, oop, pop that one in next to that. Next to that, I'm going to pop in a CR123 battery, also an unbranded or a non standard brand uh, battery at 2800 milliamp hour. So that's a different battery again, all starting to charge. Now I have a triple A battery. Oh, damn. 
slippery with the fingers today. This is a AAA nickel metal hydride battery rated at 1600 milliamps. I can pop that in as well. Next to that, this is a 14500, 2300 milliamp hour battery. Again, one of those basic uh, no-name batteries. We'll pop that in. And finally, I'm going to pop in a, uh, a 21700 battery. This is a 5000 milliamp battery made by Claris, and I'll pop that in over here. So I have the uh, six batteries going at the same time. They're all charging independently and giving me the status as well as how fast they're charging with what, what power that they're uh, consuming as it goes. Now, at this point, I just want to show you one more battery and I do this for a reason. This is a 21700 battery, 5000 milliamp hour from Thrunite. And I cannot charge these using this device. And the reason is it's a proprietary style battery and it is the positive anode that prevents me from charging it. You can see that it is recessed behind this plastic collar. And as a result, it will not make contact with the positive side of the charging unit. So be aware, if you're looking to buy this unit to charge through night batteries, you're not gonna be able to do it. You'll have to charge them in the light itself as well, they are intended to do that. It's just nice to be able to ha have a charger. What I, and the reason I mentioned that is, is I was unable to see if the through night batteries actually live up to the claim of having 5,000 milliamp hours of capacity in them. All right, just before moving on and sharing my experiences using this device, I wanted to give you a few close-ups so that you can see the status of each of the batteries in their individual ports, showing you the inputs going in as well as where they are in uh, the amount of time left for before they reach full power. And basically that's all I'm gonna be able to show you about the operation, because as I mentioned, there is a capacity testing, and I'll speak to that in one moment, and an internal resistance testing, and a storage mode that you can do with this unit. But it's just, there's a number of steps involved just pressing the buttons, and it's better done by reading the manual. Know that it is capable of doing that. Now I just wanna share a few comments around my experiences using this device. Basically what I wanted to share with you at this point was the capacity testing capability of this device because I found this very interesting. This is something that's come up from time to time in comments when I'm doing flashlight reviews is that is the battery in the flashlight actually capable of whatever the capacity that is written on the side? So if it's a 21700 size battery and it says 5000 milliamp hours in it, will it actually hold 5,000 milliamp hours. Well, for the most part, I had to take the manufacturer's word that it would do so. But with this unit, I was actually able to do some testing. And I just want to give you a few results for some different size batteries. Now, this was a bit of a random test. I didn't test every battery in my collection. And I just kind of sorted through and picked out some odd ones as well. So here's what I got. So I think it was probably this unit right here that I was testing. And it's a, a well, one of these, not maybe not this specific specific one. This is the 14500 unit that is rated at 2300 milliamp hours. It only came in at 124 milliamps. So it in no way comes anywhere near the claims written on the side of it. So I thought that was quite illuminating, if you will, to show me that, that sometimes you're not, well, often you're not getting what you think you are when you buy some of these batteries. Now, another battery was this 18650 that was in the unit itself. The 18650 was rated at 5,000 milliamp hours. It come, only came out to 776. So this is less than, uh, well, not more than less than half. It's practically a quarter or less of the capacity as it's rated for. So that was very disappointing to discover as well. I did check out one of these double um, A, well, not the double A, sorry, the triple A, one of these little guys. I checked out one of these little guys, the triple A, the um, uh, nickel metal hydride batteries rated at 1800 milliamp hours, and it came in at 778. All right, so very disappointing again. Uh, I also checked out the Claris and the X-Star uh, batteries, an 18650 and this Claris uh, 5000 milliamp 21700, and they were, did much better. So the X-Star itself came in at uh, 4782, being rated at 4900 milliamps. 
that is so close that it's, it's not worth mentioning the difference. So it was almost exactly what the company claimed it was on the side of the battery. And for the clearest battery, it was rated at 5,000 milliamps and it came in at 4,793 milliamp hours. Again, very, very close to its rated capacity. Now, the, what I take away from this is that the better branded batteries have a better chance of being at what they say they are in terms of milliamp hours. Yes, both of those were a little bit below the full capacity, but uh, that's not unusual. And sometimes they degrade over time and both of these batteries had been used uh, quite a bit. So I, I was not in the least bit disappointed that they weren't at the full factory specifications. They were only a little bit below, but all those other batteries, way, way lower than the rate of capacity. So when you go to purchase a battery for your flashlight, yeah, I believe you are better off staying with a branded one, a well-known name branded battery, and you're more likely going to get the capacity that you're actually paying for. But having one of these devices to not only charge your batteries, but check your battery capacity, check the internal resistance of the battery, and then use storage mode afterwards. I think this offers a lot of vers versatility. Now, storage mode, I just want to speak to that again for a moment. And basically what it is, is when you set it up in storage mode, it will the unit will completely deplete the battery and then fully charge the battery. It takes some time for this to happen. And then fully charge the battery, and then it will bring it down to a level where it is at its best storage mode. And what I mean by that, it's well known that, well, especially with the larger power stations, that for long-term storage, the battery should not exceed 80% of its full capacity, and that will extend the life of the battery. So if you're looking to extend the life of your small batteries for your devices, it's exactly the same thing. And this unit will determine what is the best capacity to have that battery at for long-term durability. All right, so those are my experiences with this. Overall, this is an amazing device in terms of what it's capable of. Just that this new technology is really quite something. It's very reasonable. If you are looking for a battery charger, you may as well get one that can test capacity test the capacity of the battery and then charge it to the appropriate capacity for long-term storage at the same time. All right, so I did not go through a lot of the operational detail of this unit because it's so well covered in the manual and it's complex in the sense that there are some button pushing to be done on this that I figured is best left to you when you read the manual. Just know that it has those features available to you if you're interested in. So I will put what information I do have in the video description as well as the links to where you can take another look at this unit. But if you have any comments or questions regarding this unit, please put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.